President Trump's term ends in less than two weeks. And today, two members of his cabinet resigned over his role in yesterday's events. That includes Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, who stepped down just a couple of hours ago. Gilam Alamid goes in-depth looking at whether a plan to remove the president from office could actually succeed. Demonstrators on Bidwell Parkway call for President Donald Trump to be removed from office. I don't think we have 13 days to wait. Right. He must be removed now. Many of their signs refer to the 25th Amendment. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, and Congressman Brian Higgins are calling for it as well. It's an appeal right now to members of the cabinet to attest to, to Trump's incapacity to, to execute the office. Under Section 4, the vice president and a majority of Trump's cabinet can declare him, quote, unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. Mike Pence would become the acting president. So it's been utilized, but certainly not, to my knowledge, uh, the section that everyone seems to be pointing to right now, at least not in this way. The 25th Amendment was used when Richard Nixon resigned and when presidents were in surgery. The president can write a letter saying he is fit for office. He would remain president. The vice president and cabinet would then send a letter to Congress. A two-thirds vote in both the House and Senate would be needed to remove a president. It's not clear to me that any of this would have time to unfold. Higgins is co-sponsoring impeachment resolutions, the other avenues some lawmakers say they will take if the 25th Amendment is not used. Trump's impeachment proceedings last year lasted nearly three weeks. The riots and destruction at the Capitol could lead to more support for a second impeachment, but would it be enough to convict him? I would say that it's likely he's going to serve out the remainder of his term. I think that all of the mechanisms available are likely going to take too much time and likely don't have the kind of support that would be necessary. In Buffalo, Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.